the, the whole Gemma journey thing is centered around four things. One, the parties. Uh, the first one being the 46th September in, in, in Sun City. The, the second one being the little gigs that I'll be doing here and there. The other two are with the team who sat down and said, you know, a lot of people would call someone like me a legend. What do you do with that? I mean, it can be such a burden. Well, you try and help create other legends. So what we're going to do is have a, a nationwide uh, city by city workshop, but we're only going to do it in the four cities, um, Johannesburg, Durban, Western Cape, somewhere in Cape Town, perhaps, and Mpumalanga, you know, where I'm going to write a, a toolkit on the do's and don'ts of radio and, and what to do. And, and then we're going to have a portal, a web portal where people can dump the demos in there and I can critique them and give them tips and we can continuously look at it because the way I've been doing it, I mean, yeah, I've, I've produced some really great stellar people like uh, uh, the guy on Gagasi, uh, Kini Shandu, uh, who went through my training and the guy who does sports here on the weekend, Vangeli, who also won an MTN award. I'm so proud of that boy. But there is no way I can keep in touch with those who want to improve because radio doesn't stagnate. So that's the legacy part of it where we're going to try and create other great radio presenters. The last one is a book. Uh, th th this is, it's, it's going to be a biography, an autobiography, but not about my personal life. I mean, the tabloids have already done that job for me, so I don't need to do that. So it'll be an account of my career uh, when I was at Radio <coughs> Bob, what happened mm -hmm. from funny things that happened to sad things that happened, people that I've lost since I've known. I mean, in 25 years, there's, there's three people, guys, that have groomed me so wonderfully from a culture point of view. The first one was uh, Peter Magurue, who passed on. Second one was Andrew Mulefe, who passed on. And then there was Aravi Macheke, who passed on. So, you know, over the 25 years, I've met some giants who grounded my Africanness. And it was, I mean, when I look at what I did with the conversations we used to have with these three guys, and there was a time when there was that three of them and me being the fourth. I can't put a number to it as to how these guys have gotten me grounded from a black African point of view. It